Now, the city over the past weeks uh, has suffered some serious losses against the dollar. George Rafi has been exploring what could be driving this pressure and what are the options to stabilize the situation. The local currency, which used to trade at around 5 Ghana cities, 40 pesos late February, based on code from some of the major commercial banks, is now selling at around 5 Ghana cities, 87 pesos. The pressure on the Ghana city since early March this year has been influenced by the decision of some offshore investors that bought into our bonds to get out. This is due to the uncertainty that the coronavirus has brought to economies around the world, forcing these businesses to review their investment and placing them in more safe assets like gold. The development has brought some pressure on the Ghana city as government may have to look for some dollar cash to pay off these investors that want to get out of our bonds. A careful look at the last two bond results showed that government failed to secure the entire amount targeted. These offshore investors often bring in some dollars through the commercial banks. It goes a long way to boost our reserves, thereby helping to strengthen the local currency. The pressure heightened last week, resulting in the local currency hitting six Ghana cities before it stabilized marginally this week, selling at around five Ghana cities, 87 pesos, after the Bank of Ghana upped its intervention on the market. But there are still ongoing debates whether the central bank, looking at their strong reserve position, should increase the amount of dollar support for the market or allow forces of demand and supply to stabilize the situation. But having crossed the first quarter of this year, which is often described as a pressure period, can we say the challenges of the Ghana city are indeed over and these current happenings should be seen as just a normal blips? Well, some say that there are still some troubles ahead. This is because already Cocoa Board has indicated that looking at the current challenges of the global economy because of the coronavirus, they may have some challenges in raising the Cocoa Loan Syndication on time, which often goes a long way to strengthen our reserves. Again, there are projections that foreign direct investment would slow, which might not be good news for the Ghana city. Or you just say that we should trust the Bank of Ghana because they have what it takes to manage the situation, looking at their strong reserve position. Well, let's still stay on these issues surrounding the local currency because $1 billion from the IMF is expected to hit the Bank of Ghana's account on Thursday. That's tomorrow. Could this help to improve the central bank's reserves and help also to stabilize the city in the coming weeks? Let's get the answers from Head of Research at Data Bank, Alex Wahing, who joins us on phone uh, for some thoughts. Yeah, welcome to the marketplace, Alex. All right, thank you. All right, so with all these dynamics, do you think that the city, I mean, will, will actually appreciate in the shortest time? Uh, well, appreciate is, is, a different, is, a different, is a different thing. Yes, but obviously it's going to have positive impact on, on, on the city. And because since it's going to, uh, the one billion, I think, will show up um, the government reserve position, uh, that could actually help the, gov um, the, the BOG to actually support the city uh, when um, there's pressure on it. Because, you know, I, as I mentioned earlier, um, the, the, the main driver of the city's value at this moment is the bond market. Um, which tend to see a lot of uh, foreign investors selling their um, holdings of uh, Ghana, Ghana um, bonds or government of Ghana bonds on the secondary market. And that is actually putting a lot of pressure on the city. I mean, if you, if you may recall, uh, the city had a great year uh, from January and some part of February. But for the past couple of weeks, I mean, for the past month, we have seen some depreciation pressures on the city and that is as a result of of the selling pressure that we are seeing on the bond market you are talking about uh, average uh, daily turnover of over one billion or weekly turnover of over, over one billion and that is these are most of them are coming from foreign investors and when these foreign investors sell their uh, ghana holding of gh of ghana um, um, government bonds they will then have to repatriate by converting to, to the USD. So that puts a lot of pressure on the city. And that's the reason why, even though we have seen imports uh, slowing down quite significantly, the city continues to depreciate both on the interbank and also on the forest market. The reason is that there's been a lot of sell-off on the, on the bond market, uh, secondary bond market, and that is actually uh, putting a lot of pressure on the city. So it's a good news. I mean, it's something that is, is welcome. Because um, $1 billion, I think, will help shore up the currency 
and when need when need be, the Bank of Ghana can up their their weekly option numbers in terms of dollar supply in the banking system and uh, to 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 ensure that the city uh, remains stable. But to to that said, I will also uh, like to mention that um, we have seen. Um, a slowdown or tapering of the sell-off on the bond market. So naturally, you should see that actually um, um, also uh, easing the pressure on the city. Uh, for example, you have seen a lot more uh, domestic investors or the banks actually buying bonds on the secondary market. And okay. what that means is that uh, the domestic um, um, the domestic participation or holdings of government bonds is actually being ramped up. So mm. that w- actually curtail uh, potential or reduce uh, potential future pressure on the CD, on the bond market. So, yeah, I think it's a good news. Mm. All right. So what about the impact on that, you know, the IMF $1 billion cash uh, would hit the Bank of Ghana by tomorrow, Thursday? What is going to be its impact on the city's depreciation or appreciation? Yes, I, I, I think that for, for sure it will help boost the city stability, as I mentioned, because the Bank of Ghana will strengthen its reserve position, and which could also enable the Bank of Ghana to actually um, pump more uh, dollars in the system when required, as I mentioned earlier. So for sure, because if you look at um, the, the auction calendar, the forward auction calendar uh, for this year, I think on average the bank intended to do about $40 million, $40 million uh, bi-weekly. Um, for the first quarter, because first quarter uh, tend to be the most shaky part of 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 of, of, the, of the of of the year for the city. So uh, we have also noticed that uh, for the past two weeks or so, they have actually reduced that auction amount uh, to 20, 20 million cities on a biweekly basis. So that that uh, because they don't want to obviously um, uh, uh, deplete deplete the 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 FX reserve. So that right. with this one billion, obviously it will strengthen their position, and they will be in a better position to support the city when required. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Alex Boahe, for that information.